having a marvelous time, and I would like you to meet the manager of the theater, Mr. Lou Goldberg. Mr. Goldberg, a little reception for Mr. Goldberg. Right on it, that's it. Very glad to be here tonight, Dennis, and I know your show will be a big success. Thank you, Lou. And I think we should have one of the boys and girls come up and say a few words at this time, don't you? I think that'll be fine. How about Miss Carlson? Will you step up and say something? Mr. Goldberg, in behalf of the cast and myself, I want to thank you for the opportunity of working in this picture. Well, that's fine, Miss Carlson. I know the show will be a big success, and I know the boys and girls will do their best and make Peoria proud of them. Thank, thank you. Oh, very good. Yes, sir. All right, uh, now, we're, now we're going to hear from a very lovely little lady. In fact, she's the winner of the Fulton County Beauty Contest. Miss Virginia Fleming, assisted by Bob Waddell, singing a very lovely song called I Saw Stars. Virginia, please. I saw stars. I heard an angel say, wake up, wake up. Wonderful dream came true. I saw stars. I heard an angel say, wake up, wake up. Wonderful dream came true. Newborn feeling had me reeling, said to myself, where am I? It's all so hazy, may sound crazy, wasn't a star in the sky. Still, I saw a star. I heard a birdie sing so sweet, so sweet. The moment I fell for you. Who just walked in? Barnes and Ford themselves. They're going to do Dinah for you. Margaret, play that Dinah. That's it. That's it. Get out now, boy. Peoria's most charming young ladies. I think we ought to buy them a nice big dinner. What do you say? That's a good idea, Danny. Now, I have two bucks. Yeah? Now, what do we do? Spend it all tonight and have one big night out of it, or uh, should we save some Lamar? Huh? Well, personally, I think you ought to spend two bits and take a bath myself. Say, I resent that. <laughs> Why? Take a bath. Every time I take a bath, I catch cold. You do? Yes. I haven't had a cold now in about two or three months. <laughs> You're always pulling jokes. Now, listen, dear. What did you have for breakfast? I didn't have any breakfast. No breakfast? No breakfast. And uh, what did you have for dinner? No dinner. Yeah, no breakfast and no dinner. They're going to be darn hungry by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk like that, Dave. Order right up. What would you really like to have? I'd like a nice, big porterhouse steak. Big porterhouse steak. Wait, porter man, steak. Wait, if they had a steak in this joint, the chef would eat it himself. She's silly. <laughs> Don't talk like that. You want to be a cheap guy? No, who's the cheap guy? You. See what else he's going to have. What else are you going to have? Oh, mashed potatoes and a big cup of coffee. How would you like a big smash in the nose? You wouldn't like it with me. No, don't talk to her like that. That's my girl. Yeah? You're not hungry, are you, dear? Oh, no. I'll take the same. James, my coat, I'm leaving. Just a minute, Mr. Lee. Yeah. What are you going to have for yourself? Bring me a glass of water and an aspirin. Oh. <laughs> Cut. Now we have a vest pocket edition of Miss May West. Little Dorothy Lull. All right, Dorothy, will you do Miss May West? Johnny was lover. Oh, buddy, how they could love. They swore to be true to each other. Just as true as them stars above. He was your man. But he's a doing you wrong. Frankie went up to the bar. Just for a bucket of beer. And he said to Mr. Bartender, Has my loving Johnny. 
Now for a real fast whirlwind tap dancer, Mr. Tommy Miller, and he is fast. All right, Tommy, come on here. Go Brashear sisters. Thank you. You're always telling me just what I ought to do. You tell me that it's wrong to look at somebody new. You're telling me, or I'm telling you, why don't you practice what you preach? You're always telling me to wait until you call. I wait and wait and wait and then you don't call at all. You're calling me. You practice what you preach. You tell me I'm your sugar pie. Yeah. You swear you'll never tell a lie. Yeah. You even say you won't to die. Yeah. How come you say it with your fingers crossed? You're always asking me to name that certain day. And then you change the subject and you think it's okay. You're asking me. Everybody come out and dance. Everybody dance. Right here. 